It's day one of two of the public hearings held by the NTSB. Testimony revealed that workers on the Boeing 737 told investigators they felt pressure to do their work too fast to avoid mistakes. This is just the latest part of the investigation in what was almost a tragic incident, 16,000 feet in the air. A long-awaited investigative hearing into Alaska Airlines Flight 1282 began with a stark promise from National Transportation Alaska Safety Board Chair Jennifer Homendy. We will not leave until all questions are asked. Seven months ago, panic in the skies after the Boeing 737-9 Max's door plug shot off, leaving a gaping hole in the side of the aircraft. This was quite traumatic for the crew and the passengers and injuries we can't see, which we often don't talk about, can have profound lasting impacts on lives and livelihoods. A preliminary investigation by the NTSB found the plane left a Boeing factory in October, missing four bolts needed to secure the door. In late June, Boeing said a lack of paperwork was to blame. You're cutting corners. You are eliminating safety procedures. You are sticking it to your employees. That same month, Boeing CEO Dave Calhoun faced harsh criticism from elected leaders and families of victims who died in Boeing 737 MAX 8 plane crashes during a heated subcommittee hearing. I apologize for the grief that we have caused. This week's hearing brings renewed scrutiny to the embattled aerospace company. Hamadi accused them of using Tuesday's testimony for self-promotion. This isn't a PR campaign for Boeing. This is an investigation on what happened on January 5th. We know there is a shakeup in leadership happening at Boeing with the current CEO, Dave Calhoun, stepping down Wednesday at the conclusion of this hearing. It was previously announced that he would be leaving at the end of the year. Kelly Ortberg, the former CEO of an aerospace supplier company, will be taking the top job over at Boeing. In New York, I'm Lee Waldman reporting.